Ray Allen on a team that had won just 24 games the year before. All three were in search of their first championship, and they faced their share of doubters. All three of them have had great individual success. Now, how do they come together and be a championship team right in the first season? Your initial thought is, you know, we're going to be inconsistent at the beginning. We're going to struggle early. We're going to have our ups and downs. I don't think that they'll go to the championship. Everyone told him, you know, everywhere you're at, Kevin Garnett can't win the big one. Kevin Garnett can't win the championship. He's going to be eating up your salary cap for the next five years, and I'm not sure this is a guy that gets you over the top. And we're off. The New Look Celtics would be holding their training camp in Europe. I'm starving right now, dog. I'll drink my cappuccino with my pinky out. Hey, that's what my stick would do. And with nine new players on their roster, the trip would provide a perfect opportunity to get acquainted. We went over to Rome, and that was the best thing that ever happened to us, because we wasn't in the States. We was all alone with us, having to figure out each other, and we just naturally bonded. I'm going to get this eight. brown. He must, he must pull. It's only right that we go to the Coliseum with Gladiator. It's only right. We ventured throughout the city together. Um, we're on a different time zone, so we couldn't sleep. So we spent a lot of nights just playing cards, just sitting on the steps, just talking. We embraced each other to the point where who cares what these critics say? As long as we're together, as long as we stay together and understand what the goal is, man, we, man, we can do anything we put our minds to it. What an atmosphere here in Boston for the Celtics home opener. We are all brothers, fellas. Everybody together. It's a journey right no matter what. Man, let's get it done today, fellas. Let's get it done. We know how we do it. Let's go. Stay together. Celtics! He's in a new place and he's the kind of person that wants to prove to the people here that you know he's worthy and of course he's going to be rejuvenated. Kevin Garnett, after 12 years in Minnesota, a new life here with the Celtics. The Celtics clicked right from the start with KG leading the way. Impressive win for the Celtics once again. I thought it was really important to get off to a good start because that would allow them to buy in. If your best player buys in, then you have a chance to coach your team. Oh, it by Garnett. He bought in, and then he did it harder than everyone else. Again by Garnett, and Garnett hustling for the loose ball. He was a 13-year veteran and a 10-time All-Star, but KG still played as if every game was his last. Whenever you work hard, man, it's no different from someone punching in 9-5. to five. My thing was no different from that. Blocked by Garnett. Celtics streak is alive! Eight in a row to begin the NBA season. You knew about his passion, you knew he was a hard worker, but not at that level, you know, where you see it every single day. <laughs> every day in practice. <laughs> Before practice, after practice. It's non-stop. And the guys are motivated by that to go out there and try to be the best. I literally had to shorten some of my practices because I knew he wouldn't come out and that was the only way I could get him to sit down. You see that he never takes a playoff. He'll take charges. He'll sacrifice his body first to the floor. You've got your best player diving on the floor. And I think that intensity drives your team to a whole different level. Boston Celtics will improve to an NBA best, 13 and 2. He radiates such intensity that it is impossible for it not to wear off on the other players. He has just changed a culture here within the team. Pass deflected by Eddie House, picked off by Pierce. Ray Allen for the game. Got it! And the buzzer! <laughs> 
the Celtics made a statement to their skeptics by winning 20 of their first 22 games, matching the best start in franchise history. To see more of KG's incredible journey, check out Kevin Garnett, KG. Buy it today at NBAstore.com. This game, Mochi. there's always critics, and their job is to cast doubt. It started as a whisper. He can't do it. He needs time. And if you listen, it becomes louder. This league is for men. Picks up steam. He's just a kid. It was 1995, and I was starting my rookie year in the NBA. Critics couldn't wait for me to fail. But in the ocean of skeptics, you only need one believer. Kevin was three weeks removed from his high school prom. And while most kids were getting ready for college, he was preparing for the NBA draft looking to become the first player in over two decades to jump from high school straight to the pros. Mikhail and I went and watched him work out. We went with the idea there were four great players in that draft. KG was the high school player, which is kind of an unknown. Uh, but you had Stackhouse, you had Rasheed Wallace, you had Joe Smith, you had McDice. So we kind of went into the, the seeing KG work out, telling people we're going to take this high school kid at number five, thinking that maybe we'll kind of spur some interest and someone will gamble on him above us and we'll get one of those other four players. And so after we watched him work out for five minutes, we looked at each other and we just said, we better hope he's here at number five. Next up, we've got the Minnesota Timberwolves. They have the number five pick in the draft. What do they look for here, Hubie? You want to get here a talent for the future, a person who has a lot of upside, a lot of potential. Do they go for Garnett? All of a sudden, these cameras just came around me, and I was just like, what, what, what's going on? My agent at the time looked at me and said, Showtime. And I was like, what? Let's go down to the podium. The commissioner is ready with a number five pick in the draft. Sweetest phrase to this day with the fifth pick in the 1995 draft. The Minnesota Timberwolves select Kevin Garnett from Farragut Academy in Chicago. If you see my face, I'm almost like wiping my face. I'm like, I can't even, like, wow, this, this is surreal. This is surreal. And then the walk up there felt like somebody had picked me up and I was floating. And Shake Davis in his hand and I, I shook his hand so much that I was just smiling so hard that I was, I, I, <laughs> that, that whole thing was, was a blur. Ready or not, that was the big question. Why do you think you are ready for the big transition to step from high school to the NBA? Well, one reason I think I'm ready is because I work so hard. And I know the NBA is just another level of hard work. You know, I'm set for, I'm set for that stuff. In the six-year history of the expansion Timberwolves, the team had never had a winning record. And patience was running out. I thought it was a huge gamble. This was a team that needed help quickly. And so you bring in a kid from high school when that had not been years and you thought, well, we're going to be waiting four or five years before Kevin Garnett is really at a point where he can help this team. He was a skinny little kid, couldn't have weighed more than a, uh, a buck seventy-five wet uh, coming in, and, and he was thrown to the wolves. Here comes Garnett, buckle up for Garnett, and this is the breakaway jam. At the start, it appeared Garnett's critics might be right, but there were some things the critics didn't know. People thought I was going to go three years and be out the league, you know, or a couple years, or maybe make it here and there and be out. No, you know, they, they didn't know the drive that was, that was within. And it wasn't just the critics who were coming after him. We beat Kevin unmercifully in practice. We took shots at him, we hit him. Never said a word. Never comp always picked himself up, and he played hard. That's that good, KJ! That's it working, that's it good! That's it good, JJ! Sam Crafty and them vets 
They use a lot of faith, a lot of patience, and they let you really kill yourself. And that used to drive me crazy. He got beat up, he got knocked down, he got bloodied, but KG was one of those guys that never let the other person see that he got the best of him, even at that young age. Here I come, world. Here I come. Kevin would quickly adjust to the pro game, and at just 19 years old, he started to make his presence felt around the league. He's doing it all! Porter, back to Garner! He just couldn't slow him down. He was just like an energy bunny. I mean, he was all over the place. He was excited. Lob up top to Kevin Garnett, and the young high school phenom knocks it down. Saves it to Garnett. Two on one, Garnett. Oh, goodness. High school or college? That's an NBA. Send it in. You could see that once he learned what this league was all about, that he was going to be a special player, and it happened pretty fast. You may be seeing the birth of a superstar tonight. Ready, go. In a very short time, KG had won over his teammates and developed a special bond with veteran Sam Mitchell. He absorbed everything. Every time you would tell him something, it's like he would look you straight in the eye, he was like, okay. And then he'd go out and do it. He got it. Good D, man. Hey, get him out of there. Sam would always stand my ear. Always stand my ear. You want to be the best? We see it. You want to come in here and work hard? Are you working really hard? Are you, are you really working hard? He stayed on my ass so much, I thought he was skin. Kevin called me dad. We're like friends in that kind of way. Sam, I miss you, man. My dad right here, though. We were at the halfway point of the season, and I was the starter. If I walked on the court, grabbed flip, and said, flip. I think you need to start, KG. I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm going to push this kid. I'm going to work hard every day. I said, but for us to go where we want to go, to be a playoff team one day, He's got to start. It could be a historic night because Kevin Garnett, all 19 years, seven months of him, is going to get his first NBA start tonight. I made him a starter and uh, played really well. And I can remember that when I took him out, he thanked me for starting him and playing him. <laughs> you know, at that point, and basically saying you haven't trusted in him. And I said, well, you know, you're going to start for a long time. Hey, Kevin, way to go, baby. These people in L.A., they don't know yet. They gonna learn, though. Still just a teenager, Kevin would finish his rookie year as the starter. He was known as the kid, and his boyish enthusiasm captivated the league. My younger years, man, I actually enjoyed just being young and being being a kid, man. It was just pure fun. And KG's future now seemed unlimited. The Celtics had gotten off to a 20 and 2 start. Kevin Garnett wasn't about to let up. As his old mentor Sam Mitchell had done for him a decade earlier, Kevin now took the younger Celtics under his wing. The story that epitomizes KG was he came in and he lifted for about an hour and a half and got his weight workout in. And then he goes out and gets all his shit.